Hi, this is Zuzu, and what we're going to be working on today is the homework from page uh, 312, 7 through 18. And what I'm going to show you here is actually some of the notes that we took in class regarding the math code to help you set up the equations tonight for your homework. So here you'll see the word is reflecting an equal sign. If you see the word of, that reflects the use of a parentheses. And the word what number, we would use an x or a variable. If you see what percent, then you'd use x over 100, that fraction representing a percent. And then if you see the word find, then what you'll want to use is that really means what is. So you'll use an x and an equal. Okay, copy that down if um, you still needed to for your notes and you didn't today. The first question from the homework tonight is what percent of 20 is 11? And I'm going to take each word and um, interpret that in my math code. So what percent would represent x over 100? Of means multiply, so I'm going to use the multiplication symbol, or I can use my parentheses if I want to. Of 20, so I'm going to multiply 20 with the x over 100. And then is represents equal sign, so I'm going to write an equal sign, and then 11 after the equal sign. So there's my equation. So in every question, you must show that equation. And if you want to, you can write the proportion and set it up that way to find your answer. So you can write x over 100 equals is over of, sorry, is over of, and then from there, solve it that way if you wish to. So I could write x over 100 equals 11 over 20, and then find my x from cross multiplying in this question. Okay, or I can choose to use the equation. Now, if I use a proportion, my answer that I'm going to get here is 55, meaning that my answer is 55%. If I do it the way with the equations, I'm going to divide the uh, 20 with the 11. So if I divide 20 with the 11, 11 divided by 20, that's going to give me 0.55. And then 0.55, if I change that to a percent, then I'm going to move the decimal twice to the right, giving me the answer 55%. So really, it still leads me to the same answer. But in your homework, you must write this equation. I'm looking for this, and then whatever way you choose to solve your answer, then to get to your answer, that's fine. I'm going to do number 8. I'm going to find 56% of 75. So I'm going to take each word and write an equation. My equation starts with the word find, and in my math code, here's my math code, find means what is, so that's x equals. So backing back over here, I'm going to write x equals 56%, meaning I'm going to change the percent to a decimal. I think, you know, I need to go back here, and I, I think I forgot to add that. If you see a percent, I want you to change to a decimal, and to change a percent to a decimal, that decimal is going to go 2 to the right. I'm sorry, left. I'm thinking the opposite right now. Okay, and that's the last part. I think I missed that. <coughs> so here I'm going to change that to 0.56. The of means multiplication, so I'm going to multiply. I'm going to use a parentheses, and I'm multiplying of 75, so multiplying 75. So if I multiply these two numbers according to my equation, that's going to get me to my answer. I'm going to multiply that quickly. My decimal goes here, which means that x is going to be 32, which is my answer. Okay, I'm sorry, 42. I think I messed up here in my multiplying. Oh, I've got to carry the 1, which is 42. And if I want to, I could use the proportion, but you know, I did say you need the equation, so this is what I should see, and then an answer. But my proportion would be 56 over 100 equals x over 75. That, again, is your percent over 100, equaling your is over of. Okay, and you can choose to solve it that way if you wish to. Okay, number 9. 135% of what? sorry, of t is 63, and you're looking for what is t. 
Now we can just take this sentence right here and create our equation. I don't really need the what is t because clearly I'm looking for the t. That's already my, um, really my what. Okay, so I start with 135% because it is a percentage. I'm going to change it to a decimal, which is going to become 1.35. Then I have the word of, according to my math code, of represents multiplication. So I'm multiplying 1.35 of t, so times the t, I'll put that in the parentheses. And then is is my equal sign, so I write equal sign, and then I bring my 63 after that equal sign. Okay, and then from here I can solve my equation. Um, if I solve my equation, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I uh, want t equals, so to get that, the 1.35 is going to go to the other side, and the inverse of multiplying is dividing. So I'm going to divide these two numbers. Okay, so I'm going to divide 63 with 1.35. Now you may not choose to do it this way. If you want, at this point, you can do a proportion and to get your answer. Maybe this is difficult for you to divide. So my proportion would be 135 over 100 equals to 63 over t. And we're going to cross my multiply to find t. Now when I do divide this decimal with this 63, I'm going to move it twice, meaning I'm going to move 63 in that decimal twice over, and there I'm dividing 6,300 with 135. So if I do divide that, I'm going to get a 4 here, 135 times 4, 540, giving me 90, adding a 0, a 6, Kind of a long question, huh? 3, 2, 810, giving me another 90, adding another 100, 0. So again, I'm getting another 6 and a 6, and I'm repeating that 46.66, which actually means if I'm to round to the tenths, because that's what the book tells me I'm going to do, I'm going to round this number. So I'm going to look on the right, I look at the 6, look at the 6, and the 6 is going to tell me to round up to 7, so I'm going to get 46 point, and then this, this 6 changes to a 7. So there would be my final answer for T. Okay. okay now we're going to do number 10. What percent of 25 is 7, 17, okay, and then if I write an equation for that question here, I'm going to take each part, what and then percent, so I'm looking for percent, according to the math code, that represents x over 100, then my of is my multiplication symbol, and I have of 25, so I'm going to multiply 25, I'll get that out too. And then my is represents my equal sign, is 17, so equals 17. And really the is should be quite easy to remember because if I say math is fun, then the kind of sentence I'd create with math is I'd write math equals fun. That means math is fun, you know, in plain English, so that's where we kind of get that. Might help you remember that. So there's my equation. Now I'm going to choose to... Um, write a proportion, and if you notice, um, really this equation becomes a proportion. If I were to take the 25 and um, move it to the other side of the equal sign, what I'd do is the inverse. Right here it's showing a multiplication of 25. So over here I would divide 25 with the 17. And what you should see happening is x over 100 would then equal 17 over 25. And that's the proportion that means percent over 100 equals is over of. It's amazing, huh? Math is awesome, and that's why there's just so many ways to approach the problems. And from here, I'm going to take the easy route and take 25 times 4 gives me 100. So I'm going to take 17 times 4. I'm going to do 17 times 4, giving me 68. So x is 68. And my answer should be what percent, so my answer should be in a percent, so I'm going to add that percent sign. So um, 
I mean, this is not the only way. If you did a little dividing or you wanted to cross multiply, you should still be able to get to that same answer. I'm gonna, sh that's just the shortcut way. Beautiful, I love shortcuts. Um, number 11, and this will probably be the last question I'm gonna do for the video. So try your very best on all the other questions and I can try to answer any questions you still have tomorrow in class. Make sure that you have equations for each question. Number 11, here's my equation, find. Find means um, it's the same as saying what is. It's like saying what is 500% of 12. So what is, is x equals 500%. <coughs> I'm gonna change that to a decimal. So if I have 500, the decimal moves twice to the left, meaning I have five. And then of 12, of 12 means times 12. So times 12 simply this is so easy, 5 times 12, I'm just doing 5 times 12, some of us can do that in our head, and if we can't, that's okay, but that would be 60, meaning 60 is 500% of 12, awesome, and if you wanted to do your proportion, then this is how you would have set it up, and then cross multiplied. Now, before doing that, some of us probably did 5 over 1 equals x over 12, and we simplified the fraction here on the left, that's perfectly fine. Just make sure you don't, no cross canceling. This is just a reminder. Don't cross cancel um, the 12 and the 500. That's a no, 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 no. Okay, and then you, you'll see I'm still multiplying 12 and five when I cross multiply and I'm multiplying X with the one giving me 60 as my X. So you're ending up at the same answer. And maybe I can squeeze in one more question. We might have time for that. And you should be able to do the rest all by yourself. 85% of Z is 106,250. Oh my goodness, we almost feel like we'd want a calculator, huh? But no, Ms. Zeus says no calculator. Practice those numbers. I'm gonna start with 85%. Oh, I'm writing an equation, okay? 85%, that decimal's 8.85 of represents what? Multiplication, so I'm gonna multiply that with Z. There we go. And then my is is gonna be my equal sign and 1,600, 250, 100,600, 106,250. Keep saying it wrong. And from here I can um, divide these two numbers. I'm gonna divide with 0.85. And um, it is a large number if you choose to use your calculator, I'm okay with that. Um, just remember that when you're dividing these two large numbers, that 0 0.85 is on the outside because the number on the top goes in the box, the top box, and I'm gonna have to move the decimal twice here, and the decimal is behind the zero, I'm gonna have to move it twice here too. So I am gonna get a really large number. I'm gonna get one over here, I'm sorry, the one should go here, 85. And you know, I find it such a challenge, so I'm gonna do this question without my calculator. And I would, you know, if you want that challenge, do it too. 85 times five. Oh, look, it comes out to be perfect after just the third number, which um, then I'm gonna add one, two, three zeros here. And so I get 1,250, I'm sorry, 125,000. Okay, all right. Um, let me show you the chart again. And this is what you need to have in your notes and we'll help you with the equations and setting them up. And you just go from word to word, left to right when you recreate your equations. Okay, see you tomorrow in class.